Hello, New Life Industries. Uh, we're here with our spider for our hopefully final video test. Um, unfortunately, we didn't have the MHM clamp systems uh, available, so we pulled a Trilock one right off the line. Um, but it should give you a, a good idea, and I can send you some photos of the uh, of the MHM pin system if you like, so you know what it's. What it is, but we're just uh, looking at speed right now. I've got Raul in here helping me. He's going to load up your files. Uh, I did a separate video of the ripping of the files, so now they're on the spider system as one bit tips. Uh, he just loaded uh, the four in there. Two are duplicates of the high res we're going to do at bi directional and uni. But we're going to start with your name drops running at the higher speed. simple solid text we can go pretty fast um, and we'll slow it down just a touch for the higher qualities half tone work We decided to just do the name drops on the uh, the exposure test screens you sent. Might as well put an image on them, um, and we'll just do the exposure test on there, and make sure we've got a, the exposure dialed in for the half tone test. Hi, Ray. Second name drop. Now I'm going to load up another screen where I was going to reduce, reduce the speed a bit just to make sure our halftone quality is as good as it can be. But we are going to do this one bidirectional. Uh, about 100% of our customers run this bidirectional even with their high quality stuff, so I think you guys can too. Um, we did a lot when we went from Spider 1 to Spider 2 to improve bidirectional accuracy. We did a real nice job. So bi-directional and unidirectional can get changed in the template settings that are right on the spider here. Um, you can have different hot folders, one set to bi-directional, one to uni, if you find you want to use uni, and it just depends which um, hot folder you send your job to, and it'll automatically attach that, that appropriate template. Okay, that's a completely bidirectional. And Rose is just going to change the template setting now. 
real simple, double click, quick pull down to go to a unidirectional template. One nice thing about wax ink is you can let it sit for a while, it won't lock into the emulsion, it stays water soluble for hours and hours and hours, um, no need to dip tank. So in this case we're just printing and then we'll do all the exposure after the fact, or you could do it in line, it doesn't really matter. That's finished unidirectional plant. You can see it took a bit longer, but uh, you probably won't need to use it. I think bidirectional is going to be perfectly fine. Um, and next we're going to go on to exposure. <laughs>